Quinta do Mocho district in Lisbon used to be considered one of the city's most dangerous suburbs, plagued by violence and drugs, where even taxis refused to go. But street art has transformed the housing project and the lives of its 2,800 inhabitants, with guided visits now organized in the former ghetto. These works of art in our neighborhood have allowed us to project ourselves into the world. People come here, they want to know us, to hear our stories, to understand our world. Before, we were like invisible territory. Nobody saw us, nobody was interested in us. Today, all that has changed. In 2014, the town hall organized the district's first street art festival and offered to paint some of the building's walls. Since then, the event has taken place every year and the district now boasts more than 120 murals. About 100 Portuguese and international artists have taken part in turning this neighborhood into an open-air street art gallery. I think it's very important, both for those who come and for those who live here. It's good that there is awareness on both sides that things can be different and that all of us can contribute to creating a different atmosphere. The murals have also raised awareness on topics like racial discrimination, children's rights, multiculturalism and justice. These paintings on the walls make our children ask us questions. It awakens their curiosity, creates dialogue. They try to understand the meanings that these paintings represent for our neighborhood. Aside from giving Quinta do Mocho a new look, the street art has also contributed to its resurrection by attracting tourists. It's better, because for a long time everything here was abandoned. But today, everything is changing for the better. Quinta do Mocho's town hall says the initiative has resulted in the opening of a bus line, the creation of more cultural events and a reduction in crime rates.